Hi everybody, today I will show you how to use Edpuzzle, which is a wonderful site to make videos interactive. This is a sample video I created to teach French. Take a look. So students watch this and then questions pop up in the middle of the video. They need to reply and then uh, basically if it's a multiple choice questions, they, uh, they get immediate feedback. Est-ce que tu m'entends? Est-ce que tu m'entends means can you hear me or can you see me? So students need to tick can you hear me and click submit then they get an immediate feedback. So they just go through this uh, process, this video. They watch the video and they answer questions as they pop up during the video. So it makes the uh, watching of the video much more interactive, more engaging, and more active. And this is what we want. We want students to be active when they watch the videos that we give them. So how do you create this? So you go to edpuzzle.com and you click get started. You create an account. You say I'm a teacher and then you can log in with Google. It's very, very easy. Then you don't need to remember your password. This is the dashboard. This is what you see as you log in. So here you have my content and this is everything that you've ever uploaded. Here you can use YouTube to find other videos to use. And here you can see all your classes, the classes that you've opened. As you can see, I have many, many classes. So first thing you do is you click my content and if you want to upload a video that you created, let's say you recorded yourself explaining something with a PowerPoint, then you want to click add content and then upload a video. You will be able to upload a video from your computer. Okay, and then it will take a while to upload depending on the length of the video. In case you want to use a YouTube video, you click here YouTube and you search for the video. Let's say you search something about Panda. Um, you click enter and then you can use anything that you see. Let's say you want to use this one, you click. And if you, um, you watch the video and if you like it, then you can simply click um, edit. Right here, edit. First thing you want to do is you want to add questions. So you click questions and then you play. That this is where you want to stop and ask a question. You click a open ended question or multiple choice question. And if it's just a note like, Good morning, everybody, take a look at this video and answer the questions, then it's not really a question, you just add a note here. So those are the three options. Let me show you the multiple choice question. The panda is, and then you can write uh, black, black, and white. And if this is the correct answer, you just click here on the little tick uh, to make sure this will be um, considered as the correct answer. Then you click save. In case you have another question, you can okay. immediately click here and add another question that follows this question without anything to watch in between. So you can just click here and add another question that will follow. You basically click continue and you just keep watching and add and adding questions. In case you want to cut it because the video is too long, click cut and you will be able to shorten the video. Yes, cut. And then you can do it also from this side and cut. So when you're done adding all the questions in the correct spot, click finish. And when you're done, you want to assign it to a class, click assign. And then what you want to do is click add new class. And let's say this is your um, fifth grade. Here you tick open to make sure students don't need to use their Gmails to enter. If you tick this one, class type open, then students just write their names uh, and then go in. They can start. No email address needed. Okay. You can add a description. You can add a subject. Okay. English, grade level, 
let's say fifth grade, open class, and then create class. The class is done, it's ready. You can see the little tick here, this box, in this box in the fifth grade, the class you just opened, then you click assign. When you're done, you want to click share assignment. And this is what you send to students, this link. That's it. You copy this and you send this to students. This is what it will look like for them. So write your name. So I'm going to write my name. And then join open class. Students click, they enter, and they see the video. You as the teacher, you will get all the answers. So you click my classes. You enter your classes, you click, and then you can see all the answers of all the students. You can even see exactly what they got right and what they got wrong. So you are really on top of everything and you can help those who were struggling. That's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and will use this to make your videos interactive and make your lessons more engaging. Enjoy!